What's up guys, Wookie TV Wanted here, and in today's video we're going to talk about whether the next Call of Duty, which will be a tryout game, as confirmed in my, not my previous video, but the one before that, it will be a tryout game, and we're going to talk whether it will be a Black Ops 1 or a World at War series. Uh, so we're just going to get right into it, and uh, I'm going to talk to you why it may be a World at War Call of Duty, instead of a Black Ops Call of Duty. So first off, it's World, at, World War 2, because as you guys know, um, uh, um, well, uh, World at War didn't, uh, came out in 2008, which is, I think, about, it'll be seven years when uh, the next Call of Duty comes out. So that was seven years ago since we had a World War, World War II Call of Duty. Uh, so that's a very long time and a very long way. And I know a lot of people do like uh, uh, World War II, especially me. I do love the theme of World War II. And uh, you never know, they could uh, go back to there because it's been seven years now. Uh, we've got Future with Advanced Warfare. We've got Present with Infinity Ward and Ghosts. Uh, we could do, uh, you know, Past with uh, Treyarch. It could be something like that. And it could mean that uh, World War Two could be the next Call of Duty because we haven't had it in a while. And a lot of people do like uh, World War Two, So that's one reason why it could be a World War Two. So now I'm going to talk on why it may, uh, may be a Black Ops 3. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why it may be Black Ops 3. First off, I'm going to talk about is sales. Because if you guys know, when World at War uh, came out, uh, it was just after it came out after Call of Duty 4, which is a big success. It, uh, Call of Duty 4 made Call of Duty what it is today. It made it very popular, and everyone loved the modern theme because um, people have been used to like uh, World War 2 themes. But when Call of Duty 4 came out, it was fresh, it was new. And uh, when World War came out after that, it went back to the World War 2, which a lot of people didn't like because they got very used to um, automatic rifles. They got used to the modern setting. Um, so the sales of World War were quite low. I think they passed uh, Call of Duty 4, I'm not too sure. But um, however, the player count on World at War was lower than Call of Duty 4, even though World at War was um, the newest game at the time. So that might have put that kind of put off Treyarch into making World War 2 games. That's why they went on to the like 1960s in the Cold War era in Black Ops. Uh, another reason why it may be a Black Ops series is because of the... Um, of the success of Black Ops 2 because as you guys know I think most of you probably have played Black Ops 2 I played it I absolutely love Black Ops 2 it was a fantastic game everybody loved Black Ops 2 it's what people uh, I think it's still about a hundred thousand people on Black Ops 2 and it's two years old that just shows the success of the Black Ops series and uh, obviously Treyarch uh, they're a company they want to make money and uh, Black Ops 2 I think it's just surpassed the sales of Modern Warfare 3 which was the current holder but yeah it's surpassed the sales it's one of the it's one of the best Call of Duty's uh, to date. It was a great game, and I think they want to carry on that because uh, Black, because as you know, uh, we Call of Duty Ghosts. A lot of people got put off Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Some people don't like the exosuits, and that's where they keep playing. Uh, went back to Black Ops Two, and if they release a Black Ops Three, obviously get those people, and we'll get some higher numbers and obviously higher sales because that's what a uh, trail is. They're a company. They're a business. They obviously want sales and. To be honest, uh, in a business view, I think Black Ops will make a bit more sense than World of War because uh, um, because the newer like people who came onto Call of Duty maybe started on Black Ops Two, something like that. They're obviously not used to the single action rifles of World at War and uh, stuff like that, and they're more used to the modern era and probably do prefer the modern era. I personally prefer the World War Two era. I love the bolt action rifles. I love the submachine guns on there, but yeah, they're probably just used to the modern era and the. Just not used to bot action rifles and stuff like that. Because if you guys know, uh, on World of War, there's not, uh, in World War Two altogether, there was only one assault rifle, and that was the STG-44. That was the only assault rifle. It was either rifles or submachine guns or sniper rifles. Those are the only real guns that you could have. And uh, I couldn't really see, uh, especially the younger people using uh, World War Two weapons and that. So I think they be more. I think they'll probably go over Black Ops because of the sales and obviously they want to attract the younger audience probably. So they probably may go for a Black uh, Black Ops that way. Uh, another reason why, uh, obviously, it could be a World of War, uh, you know, Call of Duty is because, uh, obviously, World of War came out eight years ago now, and uh, they might want to track back because um, a lot of people have um, stopped playing uh, Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 because you might have started families, you don't know what they're really they be doing, and they might want to track the, that audience back, the hardcore audience, or whatever you want to call them, and they might want to track them back with another World of War game because we haven't had it in a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you my opinion on what uh, Call of Duty may be. Obviously, my opinion doesn't mean it's going to happen, but I reckon it's going to be a Black Ops 3 because of the recent success of Black Ops 2 and just the overall sales figures of Black Ops 3 may have because Black Ops 2 sales figures were uh, extremely high, much better than Ghosts and probably better than probably going to be better than Advanced Warfare. So I do believe it will be a Black Ops 3. Uh, we never know, maybe after Black Ops 3 they might go back onto the World at War series. Uh, who knows really. But yeah, my best guess is they'll finish off the Black Ops trilogy. I do reckon it'll be a trilogy. I couldn't imagine a Black Ops 4. So they probably will finish it off and they probably will see a Black Ops game. 
uh, uh, this year. Uh, we should expect an announcement around May time, uh, usually around May, between May 1st and May 3rd, so around that time frame. And uh, we usually get a full, uh, like a trailer, a full on trailer, like uh, three weeks after that. So yeah, uh, May time is when the next Call of Duty will be announced and then we'll know then. Uh, yeah, that's about, it for the that's about it for the video really and thanks for watching.